welcome back this is video number two video two under the chapter of excel settings and in the first video we looked at the general settings so now here we are going to sorry we looked at the the excel settings overview so now we are going to focus on the general settings that we need to set into our excel file so let's dive in and start taking a look at some of the excel options and what and we want to try to do it using the keyboard specifically the keyboard without using the mouse so that's basically what we are going to focus on so since we are going to be using the mouse the, sorry the keyboard let's now tap the alt key when we tap the alt key let's now tap the alt key and the alt key is going to help us the alt key is going to help us the this alt key is going to help us bring those new letters we can see all these letters that came up and we want to go right up in here under the file we want to look at the file section of the ribbon under the file so under the file we are going to tap f and that f is going to take us to to this section and we can see all the way down to down at the bottom we have options down here with t mark when you go down to options when you go down to options here let's go back a little bit we said we place alt and then we go to f for file then we have where we have more it says double zero so place those double zeros to take us to more options from here we can go to options so now it has taken us to options from the options we can now see we can now see down on the left hand side of this dialog box you can see the different categories for excel options and we are going we are going to be going through each category in this chapter so for instance the general this is the general we are seeing this on the left we have general we have formulas down to formulas when you use the arrow keys it takes you to the down arrow takes you to formulas we are seeing also there is proofing there is save there are so many things that we can actually see from that point so we are going to go through all of them and we are going to start right at the top with the general so we go back to the general when you go back to the general you are saying that we have we have we have the so under the general section we want to focus our attention down here where when creating new we want to focus our attention when creating new down here when creating new workbooks we can set the the default font type the default font type here we can also we can set this as open sans you can look for open sans from here open sans you can set it to that we can also set the font size we can set the we can set the font size maybe to 12 you can just put 12 on this one you just select whichever you feel like but the font size let me select 12 so feel free to set these two settings to whatever you wish but let it not be too big so because now by setting these two items you are very sure that every new workbook that you create will be set to that font type and font size that you prefer 
because me have me have opened it with a font size of 12 with the default font 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 type of open sans others can select calibri depending on whichever whichever you want to 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 show that with, with within within your excel file so next up we have down here the number of sheets which will appear in every new file by default so down here we are seeing we have by default we have one by default we have one so and we would highly recommend that we we set this here to one if it was three we we recommend that you set it to to one and in fact in recent versions of excel the default setting is one just like the way you're seeing i will found when it is one but on older versions it was set to three and the reason that we wouldn't want want to create three sheets by default is we just want to create these sheets purposely one at a time as we add data and start to add sheets in our files so we prefer that we create these sheets when we need them not to just have them by default that's why we prefer to leave that one at one now we also we are also going to recommend that you take a look here at the username this username and as you can see my name has been placed there and it is important to make sure that the username is correct and that you either put your your name in there or your company's name because every comment that you write in these files is going is going to have that name appear in the comment in the comments and finally the last setting in the general section that we are going to discuss down here the office theme this office theme that you are seeing down here that office theme that you are seeing up here and this is really just a personal preference don't say we it's professional it's supposed to be like that it is just a personal preference now by default this is set to most of the time is it is set to colorful but you've seen me have found when it is use system setting but others you may find when they are when they are set to colorful by default and if you find that it has been set to colorful by default it means that that option down there is going to give you a green look to your excel interface so but as you can see we can now maybe change ours to systems to using system we can change it to white we can use we can set to darker gray we can set it to anything anything that we we feel like we found when it was used system settings so we can just leave leave it to colorful so someone is going to be wondering what is the impact of that changing it when you do that you will actually find there are some changes that are going to actually appear so we are we, we, we can actually see that there are so many other settings that we that we can see there are so many other settings that are available within within this general section because if we scroll up and down we can see there are so many that we have not we have not talked about there are so many but the ones at the top are the main ones that we recommend that we recommend for you to actually focus on the rest is all is all that even if we just leave it there but the one is we've talked about they are the ones that we actually recommend so in the next video let's take a look at the formula section right here this is the formula section on your left
Let's try to look at the formula section and we see some of the recommendations that we have there as well. So let's see you in the next video where we are talking about the formula settings.